Welcome back. If you're interested in this hay video about how many hay bales we fit inside this shipping container, then you're at the right place. If you watched our last video, which is this one right over here, that's when the shipping container was delivered. And in this video, you're gonna see how we added the vents to keep the air movement. I lost some footage, so that's why you're getting this intro. And then you'll also see just the family and friends working all day to move 500 bales of hay. No, no, we did not fit all 500 in the container, but we moved 500 bales in one day. So this is storytelling, farm life. Hope you enjoy. So, can you guys even see me? That's a no. All right, so this is the design I came up with. Stopped in the electrical department and bought one of these guys. We actually bought four of them. Air's gonna come in the inside, in the bottom, and then it's gonna come out here. So we're gonna mount this to the side of the shipping container like that. Airflow can come in, go into the shipping container, and no water, because it's a watertight box. We're gonna also open this up and fill this section with foam. The foam will stop the bees and the hornets from working their way in. So we'll get airflow, no water, and no bees. Okay, so we're gonna take one of these guys and we're gonna attempt to mount it to that side wall up there, just like that. Drill a hole, put that guy in one side, let that guy have the air come up and then out. So the next step is to drill a hole. We're gonna go 14 ribs down and then another 14 and that'll create four vents equally spaced apart. So hopefully we'll be able to drill through this container with the new drill bit that I bought. You guys are gonna sit right there. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It like fell apart. Oh, I see what happened. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Where's that supposed to go? It's not working. some of this lock tight contact adhesive says it can uh, go on everything from metal to wood you name it so here we go put a little back here oh oh let's make sure it fits through the hole first fits through the hole before we go and glob it all up. Ah! I was wrong. Does not fit. Very, very, very close. It's an inside diameter thing, not an outside. That's what happened. 
The inside diameter is correct. The outside is not. In other words, I'm way off. We're gonna have to uh, figure this out another day. That's not good. All right, so to wrap up what just happened is those electrical uh, connectors or pieces that I bought to create that 90 degree are two inch, for meant for two inch PVC. And the hole saw that I bought was also two inch, not realizing the outside diameter of that plastic piece is actually two and a quarter. So the hole saw I need is a two and a quarter. So once we get a two and a quarter, we'll come back, redrill that hole, drill another one, drill two more on the other side, pop those things in, and we'll be good to go. All hopefully before hay tomorrow morning.
All right, some of the morning is done, coffees are done, breakfast is done, still goats are not done, but it's time to re-drill those holes. So I cheaped out and only bought the blade and not the drill bit. And now I can't get this off of this. Damn it. Ugh. Got it. running out of time. Hay's gonna be here in a half an hour. Moment of truth. I'm gonna add some of this glue on the back, meant to go from plastic, waterproof, plastic to metal. Let's see if this is gonna work. Two more on the other side and then I'll have to figure out how to make that hole bigger. Son of a... The drill broke. Not the drill, the bit. Ugh. That's not good. I might have another one in the garage. I'm gonna have to go look. All right, so the drill bit right here on the last one snapped in half. This part is what's cutting through the metal to make our circle. This part guides it through straight. Last one snapped, I found one. It took me 20 minutes to find an Allen wrench. One of these days I'll buy tools that the kids can't touch um, so everything's put away correctly. And no, it's not only the kids, it's me too, but one of these days we'll fix that problem. So now we're gonna put this in the drill and hopefully be good. But I think I left the drill in the garage. Air 
flow, remember, airflow. In, out, we'll shove that thing full of that foam. Oh my God. To stop the bees and stuff from getting in later. All right, these two are good. Right here, that one's good, that one's good. We also have the two originals. The other side we have three. That fourth one, we still need to figure out how to make that hole bigger. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that, but it's time to go get hay. You guys can sit in here for now. Right there, just stay there. Mommy, yeah. Moose pantry's getting full. Yeah, Jake's here with a t-shirt on. Putting her favorite stuff in first too. Yeah, her second cut. Okay, people, we gotta go eat. We gotta go get more hay. And we fit 150 in there. Stella, good job. <laughs> we are hoping to fit what, mom? 150 to maybe 200 more? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see if we can hit over 300 in this bar. Or in, well, container. Container. Well, right now, all, all of that's in there are second cuts, so we're not gonna be using that until after, after the babies are born. So this is their second cut hay. So now the next load is gonna be first cut and all the loads after are also gonna be first there cut. There you go, size comparison. Well, we're gonna to try to come in here and see what, there we go, look at that, look at that. You can see it, there's kind of an air gap all the way around. What's that for those two? But, yeah, some shifted some a little, but that's a okay. Loose. But there's- We did not have the, the uh, stacking master. Oh, so you stacking master are next. Next well, load. So the, that's the problem, though, is I take my time. We'll be here all day. I don't have time for that. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm, we're going I'm, to get more. I'm willing to admit, like, doing it right is definitely going to take time. Um, but then, you know, doing it wrong is going to mean we fit, you know, 50 to 100 less bales in here. 150 bales down. A lot more to go. About 400 more to go. Fifty more heading over and that's not even half of it oh yeah it is wait a second let me do my math no that's not half of the first cut because I'm 350 you're 50 that's 400 so this isn't even half of it we still have a lot to go 250 more to go yeah 250. fun times we're oh for the day we're at halfway yes this is definitely a family affair we got all the dogs out here now Hazel, are you gonna help? She's like, what's going on? Okay, why is it we're putting the least OCD person on the most OCD part of this job? Stacking. So it doesn't all fall down. All right, here we go. Good enough for now. Little little critters. Like kids? 300. Yeah. The official, technically, 303. That extra three. 303 bales. Yeah, that's what we said. All right, off to fill the barn next. You good? Yeah. All right, we're just going to end it here. The answer was 300 bales in a 40 foot container with a lot of room. We think we can fit 320. 
we've got a lot more to go 200 plus more bales to go today so i'm going to end the video here hit the button down below we will talk to you later mm -hmm.